Hi, I'm Jim Bellavega. Have you heard about the cave on the moon? It's a pretty big deal. It's something that has been known about, but it hasn't been talked about public, and we're finding out a whole lot more information about it, and we're finding out that it may actually be the future for moon exploration and even the future for men going, men and women going to Mars at some future day. So uh, this is uh, really a fascinating uh, event here with the this moon cave. So it goes all the way back to when we were first on the moon. And it is accessible. The deepest pits on the moon. That's not far from where uh, Neil Armstrong Aldrin landed 55 years ago. It's about 250 miles away from that. So they were in the vicinity of that. that we believe the pit was created by a lava tube. It's just one of possibly hundreds of caves and an underground, undiscovered world, according to researchers. Countries are racing to get a first permanent colony on the moon. But when they get there, they're going to, we're going to need protection from radiation, extreme weather, and from space weather as well. And if you go, well, we're on Earth and Earth is in space and we don't have anything like uh, that protection. Well, we do. We have something called the magnosphere, and that's our that magnetic sphere that kind of protects us from uh, all kinds of wavelengths, electromagnetic waves, uh, x-rays, gamma rays, ultraviolet rays, and because those rays can actually damage and cause mutations in any organism. So we have that protective layer. The moon does not. So if we're going to be staying on the moon. We have to have uh, a shelter that is very protected, not only from ultraviolet and x-rays, but also from a tiny a meteor that rained down on the moon quite a lot uh, that could pierce one of those. So if you could find a cave that gives you that natural protection, it is a much bigger deal. It makes going to the moon and staying on the moon a lot more viable. The other thing that's really cool about this is that we believe that it may be connected to a lot of other caves on the moon. For one thing, it's a lava tube. If a uh, lava tube is what's left over when you have molten lava, at one time the moon was did have that. So this is from millions, possibly billions of years ago. We have no idea how old this is, uh, and we haven't explored it because uh, it is deep down. We're exploring it now because of high resolution cameras, uh, and also because we had a, a craft going around the moon and we're able to peer down on it and get a better look at what's going on there. And and. We're going to have to use ground penetrating radar to find out more about it. Eventually, we'll have to send a probe. We got to make sure that it is stable from moon quakes or any kind of activity like that. Uh, but it makes it so we wouldn't have to worry as much about a habitat. If we built a habitat, a place to live where you put oxygen, and it's inside this cave, uh, then you don't have to worry about the micro meteors coming in through you because you've got the moon ahead of you, up on top of you to protect you. And you also don't have to uh, worry about the dangerous rays coming in again. You have the moon acting as your ceiling and that would be protecting you. And that would allow it to be so much easier than what we've been looking at. When we've been talking about moon colonies, when you think moon colony, if you're like me, you think these round shaped things connected by tubes sitting on the moon. We see them in all the science fiction movies and TV shows all the time. And that's what you think about with the moon colony. This makes us rethink it, makes us go back to the beginning that there are natural things that we can use if we get to the moon that we wouldn't have to carry to the moon. That's another thing uh, that we're looking at. The other thing that we're considering with this is we're wanting to go to the moon so we can hopscotch to Mars. Well, this also brings up the possibility of Mars having caves as well, which it most likely does. It has the biggest volcano in our solar system is on Mars. And if there are caves on Mars, if there's any kind of life at all, microbial life at all still existing on Mars, it would most likely be in a cave where it's protected from those cosmic rays, those uh, gamma rays and uh, X rays that we were talking about uh, that the Earth gets pelted with. Mars does not have a strong magnetic sphere like we do. Uh, we believe that's part of how they lost uh, a lot of their uh, atmosphere and ultimately most, if not all, of their water. Another thing that uh, we don't have no evidence for, but we know there's ice on the moon. 
And ice is important because it can be turned into ice is water. And we need water not only to stay alive, but for our systems to work, but even possibly to use as uh, part of the ingredients for rocket fuel. Anything you can have in space already there that you don't have to take up. Remember, the whole thing that's the challenge is getting out of Earth's powerful gravity and then breaking the orbit of Earth and making it to the moon. So anything that's already there, like if there's water already there, if there's a natural habitat already there, that means that's less you have to carry. And that means you can carry more of other things that you may need that can make staying on the moon a lot longer and ultimately possibly staying on Mars. So it's really exciting. It's one of those little things that you may just see a headline and go moon cave. Okay, why do I care about a moon cave? Well, it could be our next step uh, as we go to the stars and well, actually we're still in this one solar system. So we're not really in, we're in a star, we're in the star we're in right now, but it's still a big deal. If you remember uh, seeing any of the video of the moon landings where we've uh, had astronauts on the moon, we had a moon buggy and we haven't done that for a very, very long time. This increases the possibility and it looks like the moon could be definitely a gateway to other planets, first of all, to going to Mars. So it's pretty exciting. So if anybody mentions moon cave, say, yeah, I'm all for it. I know all about it. But here's what I heard. It's kind of like what I just prattled right now. I'm Jim Delavega. I hope you have an amazing and great day. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.